Do you know we can crush steel tubes in Abacus Explicit? Understanding dynamics of steel tubes is important for crash resistant structures in automotive safety, energy absorption systems and impact resistant construction. Today, you will learn how to model steel tubes in Abacus Explicit, enhancing your skills in structural engineering. Hey friends, if you're new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer at a London university. On this channel, we explore technical and human skills to help us lead more productive, happy and examine life. By the end of today's lecture, you will be able to learn how to crush steel tubes using Abacus Explicit and this is a dynamic analysis. I have taken this example from getting started with Abacus Explicit Guide version 6.3. Remember that in new versions, this example is not there, but I found this example very useful for students and engineers to carry out crushing analysis of a tube. In this example, we have top and bottom plate and top plate is fixed and at bottom plate, we apply velocity as much as 20 miles per hour which in meters per second is 8.94 meter per second the material properties are given shell thickness is one millimeter e is 207 gigapascal poison ratio 0.3 density 7800 kg per meter cube mass of rigid body is 500 kg and plasticity data is given where we have this stress and strain curve i will carry out analysis in two parts First, we will carry out the buckling analysis where we will get 10 mode shapes and we will use those mode shapes to perturb the mesh and include imperfections in crushing analysis. I will be using SI units where length is going to be in meters, force, newtons, mass, kg. As usual, these are the nine steps which I will use to model this structure in Abacus. Link to all modeling files and lecture slides can be found at tinyurl.com slash abacus. First step is part where we will create geometry. Starting with abacus, let us create plate and tube section. Double click on part, tube, 3D deformable shell extrusion and part size is 0.3. Click on rectangle. As we have 0.1 meter by 0.1 meter tube, so I will start rectangle by minus 0 0.05 by minus 0 0.05 and then 0 0.05 comma 0 0.05 and then simply I will dimension it to double check that if it is 0 0.1 by 0 0.1 or not. Press cancel. The part is 0.4 meter long. Let me create plate part. Double click on part, say plate. It is 3D discrete rigid shell and planar part and approximate size is 1. As the size of the part is 0.2 by 0.2 meter plate, so I will start with rectangle and first point is minus 0 0.1 comma minus 0 0.1. My second point will be 0 0.1 comma 0 0.1 and cancel the procedure the part has been created i would use this opportunity to provide a reference point here as well so go to tools reference point and the coordinates of reference point are zero comma zero comma zero in this way reference point has been defined second step is property module where we will define materials and assign cross sections the next step is property and then i will create a steel material double click on material steel here i will define these properties so simply i will go to mechanical elastic and young's modulus is this value and poison's ratio is 0 0.3 density is 7800 and plastic properties i will define these plastic properties given in the manual so simply i will copy these properties from here and i will paste it here in plastic properties click done material has been defined the next is sections. So first, first I will create a tube section. It is shell and homogeneous. Click OK. The thickness of shell is 0 0.001, which is one millimeter. And then I will keep everything as default. Click done, section has been defined. Then I will assign this section. So go to tube and then section assignment, select the section, click done. And here definition is 
shell offset i will keep shell offset as zero it means that the dimensions defined they are the outer dimensions click done shell section has been defined and then i will assign inertia to plate section so double click on plate section and mass point mass click continue click on this rigid reference point and assign a mass of 500 kgs in that way mass section has been assigned and tube section has been assigned third step is assembly module where we will assemble all parts the next is assembly go to assembly here first i will create a tube section click done and then i will create a plate section and then i will create another plate section as well and then i will translate one of the plate section at the top go to instance translate and click on this point uh, starting point is 0 comma 0 and the ending point is 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.4 which means that plate has been moved at the top i will term this plate as top plate and i will term this one as bottom plate so plate 2 is top plate let's rename it and this plate is bot plate then i will define sets so go to sets and double click on set geometry first i will say top continue here i will choose all the nodes of tube which are being attached with the plate so so choose these four lines then i will choose rigid ref top as well which is rigid reference point for the top part continue and choose this part here i will choose this surface as well and i will call this surface as top surf continue i'll choose this surface and it has to point towards the tube so it's not brown it's going to be purple i will simply rotate this section and then i will define the edges of tube bottom tube so got double click on set say bot continue and define these four lines i will define reference point for the bottom as well so rigid ref bot which is the bottom reference point and then i will define a surface as well which will be bot surf continue and it will be this surface we have to choose a surface that is pointing towards the tube which is not purple it is brown so brown is the other side so if i rotate this you can see i want to choose this surface which is brown click done and then i will choose one set all which is for the entire tube click done sets and surfaces have been defined fourth step is step module where we define all analysis steps and parameters so double click on a step and i will say tube buckle the step will be linear perturbation and a buckling step click continue here simply you can write buckling analysis of tube i'm going to use the subspace eigenvalue solver length zosh is not suitable where we have contact interactions in this model we have contact interactions so that's why i will not use this i'm interested in first 10 eigen modes and here i'm going to increase the number of iterations to 50 so that it can smoothly carry out the eigenvalue analysis and then i will keep other things as default uh, click done the step has been defined fifth is interaction module where we define contact interactions and constraints the next step is interaction where i will define surface to surface interaction for the top bit this is the top bit the top surface is simply placed uh, on a surface and it, there is no friction at all the bottom surface of the plate is tied with the tube and the top surface is not tied it is just placed that's how we we are going to squash this model so first let's create interaction property i call it no frick and keep everything as default then i'm going to define the interactions so go to interactions and i'm going to define this in initial interaction and call this as top top surf tube and contact interaction is surface to surface contact click continue and i'm going to choose the master surface as the plate surface click on surfaces and i'm going to choose top surface click continue and then click on node region i will choose top as node region which is this one continue discretization is node to surface and here i'm going to use 
adjustment zone as 0.01 which means 10 millimeter the interaction property is no friction click continue interaction has been defined then i'm going to tie nodes of tubes with the plate i will double click on constraint and i'll name it as bot surf dash tube and tie first i will choose the master surface which is bottom surface continue then i will choose the node region which is bot continue and then i will keep everything as default so that will tie up the nodes of bottom surface of plate with tube click continue sixth is load module where we define boundary conditions and loading next step is load module here i will define first of all the boundary conditions first i will say a fixed bot a displacement boundary condition click continue i will choose the rigid reference bottom and click continue i will constrain it in all direction except u3 where i'm going to apply some concentrated load so click done and then i will define fixed top and here i will have rigid reference point top and i will constrain all the nodes this is in caster boundary condition once this is done then i'm going to apply loading then i will double click on load and i will apply concentrated load i will say force bot and tube buckle concentrated force click done and rigid ref bot i will apply a load of 500 newtons in z direction and that will give me loading over here seventh is mesh module where we define mesh size and element type once the loading is defined then i will go to mesh and first of all uh, i will mesh the part i will mesh the tube here i'll click on assign mesh controls click ok and then i want quadratic and structured mesh click continue then i will choose the elements choose this section and elements are s4r click ok and then i will choose the size of the element size of the elements is 0 0.0125 and simply i will mesh the model then i will mesh the plate simply first mesh controls here i would like quadratic mesh structured mesh click done and then the elements uh, i'm using r3d4 elements click done and then here approximate global size is one i just want the nodes at the ends click done mesh the model then i will rename the model as buckle eighth is job module which we use to run and monitor analysis the next step is to define the job job name is tube buckle click done i will say tube crash buckling analysis click done then i will go to keyword and i will create a fill file so go to keywords and buckle here before restart I will simply say add after here i will use asterisk node file u comma this will create a fill file which i will use later to perturb the mesh in crushing analysis click ok and then i will save the model and set up working directory ninth is visualization module used for viewing results a clean solution i'll go away and have a look at the results here you can see this is the first mode 35.37 second mode third fourth fifth mode in that way buckling analysis has been carried out if i go to results i have these 10 eigen values which i will use in dynamic analysis to squash the tube After running the analysis, you would see that this tube buckle dot fill file has been created. This is because when we change keywords, we added node file u and that creates this fill file. We will use this fill file to crush the tube and this will be used to add imperfection to crush the model. And it is important that they stay in the same working directory. So for creating crushing model, the first thing I want to do, I want to simply copy this model and I will rename it as crush. The model has been copied. 
Uh, so the first thing I want to do, I want to delete this interaction between top surface and tube. The reason is that because this was created in Abacus standard, so it will not apply in the explicit dynamic solution. So I will simply delete that step. Also, I will delete tube buckle. I will create another step, which is explicit dynamic step. I will call it as tube crush and this is the dynamic explicit model here i will describe it as impact of a square tube with pre deceleration and time period is 0 0.03 and i'll keep everything else as standard so the first thing i want to do i want to specify the interaction property so click on interaction say frick continue and go to mechanical and tendential behavior is penalty with coefficient of friction of 0 0.1 click ok to accept it and then i have to create double-sided surface for this model so i will go back to surfaces assembly and surfaces here i'll double click on surface i will say tube i will define a double-sided tube surface starting from here here this and this click done I want to choose both sides because I want to squash this model so it has to be both sides. Click done and then I will define a self contact. So I will define a self contact in tube crush. Double click. I will say tube self. It is self contact. Click done and I will choose the surface as as tube and contact interaction property is friction. Everything else is default. Tube surface is defined. The next thing I want to do, I want to define contact between uh, top plate and tube, and that will be general contact. Previously, I had contact in standard one. So, top plate dash tube, and it will be surface to surface explicit. Click continue. Choose top surf as master surface and tube as slave surface. Continue and then click on low friction and keep everything as default. Then I will go to load module. I will define velocity. So I will go to initial mechanical velocity and I will say V lock plate. Click continue and I want to define a bottom rigid reference point. So here rigid ref bot. Click continue. I want a velocity of 8.9408 meter per meter per second or it can be 20 miles per hour. And then I will define this velocity for a tube as well. So go to field create and I will say veloc veloc tube velocity and then I will choose all to apply velocity and velocity is 8.9408 that is 20 miles per hour. So this tube will crush with 20 miles per hour. Click continue and I will save the model. And now I will perturb the mesh. I will disturb the mesh using the 10 eigenvalues. In Abacus documentation manual, it says that the maximum deformation should be 2% of the smallest dimension, which is one millimeter. So we'll start with one millimeter and first mode is really very important. So simply I will use this imperfection file is equal to tube buckle. Tube buckle is the same name which is for the first step. This will fetch this file tube buckle dot fill from first initial analysis and it will induce these imperfection. Remember that this is 2% of 1 millimeter dimension for the first one. This is the maximum deflection. The rest of the deflections are less than 2% and how do you determine it? Again, you have to carry out some sensitivity analysis to see how to work it out. In the manual, these values are just given. For example, when we use steel columns in real life, we say that the imperfection is normally span over 1000. So for this case, the imperfection was 2% of the initial dimension. But this is something that you have to determine either experimentally or uh, you have to find out some accepted values. Copy this and insert it after second initial in keywords. We'll go to model, edit keywords, crush, and insert imperfections after second initial condition. This is first initial condition and this is second initial condition. And simply I will choose this and I will say add after. I will paste whatever I have copied earlier. Make sure you remove this node file view because we don't need it here. And simply I will save the model. Then I will create step the tube crush simply i will say tube crush crushing analysis one thing which i i forgot is that i had to change the mesh as well so go to mesh and 
end part. First, go to tube. I want to choose the entire mesh and then I will change it to explicit. Click done and then I will mesh the model again. And same is the case for plate. I'll click on this. I'll choose the part and here I will choose explicit and then I will mesh the model again. Uh, once this is done, then it is ready for submission. A clean solution, I will go away and have a look at the results. And here you go. This is a very good example of how it's folding over each other. I will slow it down. And you can see how this is folding down. This can be applied to aluminum cans where you can squash it and see how it folds on top of each other. And it can be applied in automobile structures as well.